Iska, the youngest saint of the celestial realm, helps the witch escape captivity for unknown reasons, but she herself was imprisoned. A year later, Octet gives him liberation and the astral sword on the condition that he hunts purebred witches. After reuniting with fellow 907th unit members Jin, Nene, and Miss Mies, the four head to the disputed territory where the Empire is protecting the power plant from Nebulae's sovereignty's astral mages. Iska and his unit soon battle several mages and subdue them in a non-lethal manner. Climb in and use magic to crush the Imperial power plant. Alice and Iska express a desire to end the ongoing war before Alice retires, ending up fighting to a draw. Later, as Alice attends an opera with her maid Lynn, she is presented with a handkerchief by a man who turns out to be Iska. Iska receives a price price tag to an opera with inside the impartial city kingdom of Ein, and by accident receives a seat subsequent to Alice. Alice and Rin head to a close-by restaurant, handy as to discover themselves seated at Iska's table, wherein Alice and Iska order the precise equal dish. Later that evening, Alice's mother, Queen Nebulize, mentions that the seal at the Nebulize founder is weakening and recommendations that it is probably related to the swordsman Alice fought before. Alice and Iska have hassle slumbering of their respective beds. The subsequent day, Iska and Alice by accident meet once more in Ein, as the excursion and artwork show off on the equal time. Afterwards, Iska falls asleep on Alice's shoulder, quietly embarrassing her. Meanwhile, the Octet comply with reinstate Iska as Saint Disciple if he captures the Ice Calamity Witch. Iska arrives with inside the 907th unit's workplace whilst Rusia tells him the Octet desires to see him. There, he's knowledgeable that they need him to understand the Ice Calamity Witch. When he returns to his room, Iska asks Miss Mies if he can visit the impartial city. She consents at the circumstance that she comes with him. Meanwhile, on the palace, Rin offers Alice a file on Iska. After having a communique together along with her mother, Alice tells Rin that she wishes them to go to the impartial city. The subsequent day, Iska, Miss Mies, Alice, and Rin join up with inside the impartial city. After Iska exhibits why he rescued the witch the year prior, Alice asks Iska to disorder from the Empire. Before he can supply an answer, they're attacked via way of means of the now loose founder Nebulize. During the battle, Rin is injured. Once Miss Mies takes Rin to the hospital, Iska and Alice group up with the intention to defeat the founder Nebulize. Afterwards, Iska turns down Alice's request. They then comply with a brief truce for the relaxation of the day. In Urak City, the 907th unit plays slot machines in a casino. Meanwhile, Alice and Rin arrive at the casino. When Alice hits the jackpot, she shares the prize with Nene. Once everyone is gone, Alice and Iska go to the fortune teller, where they are given the same fortune. A short time later, Rusia informs the 907th her unit of the Moodle Valley Vortex. At the palace, Lin tells Alice that the Imperial Army has been deployed towards the Middle Valley. She also reveals that the Zor family delayed reporting to their mother. Confronted, Lord Mask reveals the reason for the late report. In Moodle Valley, the squad encounters a member of the Holy Disciples named Mame. During the Vortex search, the 907 unit was informed that one of the units had disappeared. When they returned to base, Nameless decided not to use the rescue team. When Iska tries to talk to Nameless, Miss Mies does so instead. Later that night, Alice decides to go to Middle Valley on her own. Meanwhile, Lord Mask approaches the kissing Zoa Nebula 9. When Alice and Rin arrive at the Vortex, Lord Mask appears kissing them. The Mask Lord declares all-out war with the Empire. Meanwhile, the 907th unit, which was monitoring Mudaru Valley, noticed the starlight. On their way to the Realm of Light, they encounter a unit of Shanelot Gregory, who reveals that they are actually astral mages. Was able to escape with Miss Mies. When Shanelot brought Miss Mies to the Vortex, Alice decided to take this opportunity to go to the Imperial Army base. Moments later, Iska arrives at the Vortex to rescue Miss Mies. At that moment, Kissing unleashes her powers. At the base, Alice will face Nameless. Back in the Vortex, Iska and Kiss fight each other, with Iska emerging victorious. Then Lord Mask Miss Me steps into the vortex. Iska jumps in to help, and Alice follows after him. All three survived, thanks to Alice's help. Remembering her previous encounter with Arizuka, Alice is approached by Lin and suggests they go to a neutral city. Meanwhile, the 907th unit is in their office when Miss Me's complains over her shoulder. They are then assigned by Leisha to infiltrate Nebulai's sovereignty. Some time later, Alice and Rin search for Isuka in the neutral city. When they return to the 907th unit's office, everyone discovers that Miss Smith is now an astral magician. Despite this, Isuka, Jin, and Nene decided to remain loyal to her. The next day, Isuka and Miss Mies were playing in a neutral city. 
When they part, he is eventually approached by Alice. As Iska passes out, Rin reveals that she spiked his juice with sleeping pills. She then admits that she didn't expect him to actually drink it. When they take Iska away, Miss Smith returns and she tries to stop them. Freeze the Lisha then reports to Emperor Yumong and that Iska has been captured. After a few convincing from Alice, Rin makes a decision to take Iska to Alcatraz. Meanwhile, Risu reviews to the octet approximately the situation. She then brings up that Salinger the Transcendent is being held there as well. Afterwards, she heads to the 907th unit's workplace in which she makes use of a machine so Nene, Miss Mies, and Jin can pass undercover as astral mages. In Alcatraz, Iska wakes up in advance than anticipated even as the relaxation of the 907th unit efficaciously passed the border. At a resort, Rin volunteers to observe Iska. The 909th unit in the meantime join up with Rusia. Back on the resort, as soon as Alice leaves the room, Rin tries to kill Iska. However, she is stopped while Alice returns. At the Alalugan prison tower, Jin realizes that the Empire has an ulterior purpose for the mission. After a few quick awkwardness among Iska and Alice, Iska notices Alice's astral crest. When she asks him what he thinks approximately her and her astral crest, his reaction makes her happy. Later, Rissia introduces herself to Salinger. Rissia explains to Salinger that she goes to assist him escape. Meanwhile, on the resort, Rin reviews to Alice that a person has infiltrated the sovereignty. At Alalugan, Miss Mies, Jin, and Nene are surrounded through guards once they pay attention and explosion. They then get hold of a name from Rissia, who lies approximately the situation. Rin later relays to Alice that Salinger has escaped from Alalugan and that they go away Iska in the back of. Back at Alalugan, Miss Mies acts as bait, which permits Jin and Nene to take out the guards. When they eventually get in touch with Iska, it seems that he's caught on the resort till he realizes Alice secretly left in the back of a key so he can escape. He then heads to Alalugan. When Alice and Rin arrive at Alalugan, they cut up up. Iska in the meantime arrives at Alalugan as well. Once Rin unearths Salinger, she demanding situations him to a combat and finally ends up getting overwhelmed. Just as Salinger is ready to kill Rin, Iska saves her. During the warfare with Salinger, Iska has Rin promise that if he defeats Salinger, she can be able to now no longer prevent him and his pals till they move the border. Meanwhile, on the palace, Schwartz reviews the scenario at Alalugan to Sisbel Lu Nebulize 9. Back at Alalugan, Rin aids Iska, even as Alice is in short-faced with the aid of using Nameless. Alice then indicates up at Iska and Rin's location, which lets in Iska to show the tables on Salinger. As such, Salinger makes a decision to flee. The subsequent morning, Rin reviews to Alice that the prisoners have been accounted for and the Imperial infantrymen have retreated. In the Empire, it's far discovered that Rissia changed into the only who certainly faced Alice because the actual nameless reviews that the central province of the Sovereignty has been infiltrated. The 907th unit in the meantime head domestic together. At the palace, Alice and Rin are having a communique approximately Iska while it's far discovered that Sisbel is spying on them. She quickly realizes that Iska is the equal Imperial soldier who rescued her. Rissia meets up with Emperor Yumongan in which she offers her record to him. At the palace, the queen orders Sisbel to move to Aksamira, an impartial nation, to analyze in the event that they have sided with the Empire. Meanwhile, the 907th unit trap a smash while Michaela, a member of the clinical coordination team, places them on compelled depart for 60 days because of being overworked. Later, Elatir Lu Nebulize 9, Alice and Sisbel's older sister, has a communique with Lord Mask. When the 907th unit arrive in Aksamira, they spend the day having fun. After they separate, Sisbel runs into Iska and he or she makes a decision to observe him. Back on the palace, the queen, Alice, and Rin move interior Sisbel's room. There, Alice and Rin find out that Sisbel is aware of approximately Iska even as Sisbel asks Iska to return back together along with her to the sovereignty. Sisbel, thank you Iska for saving her the 12 months prior. Meanwhile, on the palace, Rin convinces the queen to permit Alice to tour to Aksamira so can speak to Sisbel alone. The subsequent day, Iska is just too preoccupied considering the verbal exchange he had with Sisbel. Elatir in the meantime tells Lord Mask that she believes her sisters may betray the sovereignty. As such, Lord Mask has the same opinion to look at the matter. While Alice is touring to Aksamira, she notices large tracks that head with inside the equal direction. Later, Iska leaves his pals to fulfill up with Sisbel. After she exhibits the motive why she needs his help, they may be faced through Lord Mask. When Sisbel tries to flee, she is focused through the object. While Iska and Nene combat the object, Lord Mask attempts to intervene, however he receives stop through Jin. Jin and Miss Mies distract Lord Mask, 
however become getting cornered. Jin manages to shoot at Lord Mask, however he hits the recorder which contained the evidence of Sisbel speaking with Iska. Lord Mask then attempts to burn them the use of gasoline, however Miss Mies makes use of her astral powers to extinguish the flames as Jin takes a shot at Lord Mask, which reasons him to retreat. Meanwhile, Nene tries to assault the object, however it shields itself. Nene then retreats with the relaxation of the group to evacuate civilians at the same time as Iska and Sisbel combat with the object. During the battle, an astral spirit comes out and traps Sisbel inside. Alice abruptly arrives, main to her and Iska over again teaming up. After the combat, Sisbel asks if Alice and Iska are acquainted, which they deny. Sisbel then says that she needs Iska to be her knight. However, Iska manages get out of the state of affairs whilst his pal's name for him.